All right, now we're going to look at taking this level apart, okay? Piece by piece by piece. First off, what we have to do is distinguish what rooms are what. So what I'm going to do here is select like this entire panel here. And here's a little, you're going to be doing a lot of this, okay? You're going to be selecting something. Let's say I select all the walls in my side view, okay? The trick is to knowing how to like deselect stuff because selecting stuff is easy. Deselecting stuff, let's say I'm working on that one room, all the walls going all the way around the room. It was probably easier to go in this view and highlight all the room walls. And in this view, hold control and deselect just like that. Okay, that gives you this entire room. Good. All right, so we're going to start building some UVs. So I'm going to create UVs. And I'm going to choose some cylindrical mapping here. Just around this one room. And what that's going to do is under UV texture editor, I'm going to get this. Okay. And I have that entire room now kind of panned out. Okay. And the hardest part, I think, about this is the effect of grabbing the arrow. Sometimes it's kind of a pain. There we go. So there's one room. Okay, let's do another room just like that. Again, it's easier just to probably grab all the UVs in your side view or front view and then deselect the ones you don't want in here. There's another room. For each time, I'm moving it off this grid. So sooner or later, as becoming one part, you'll have all of them laid out and they're not on this grid. And you know which ones are done and which ones are not done based upon which ones are gone off that grid. And this is the very boring lethargic, lethargic type of approach to UVs. <laughs> okay, just got this little room now. Notice I'm doing all the ones at the same height first. Okay. I'm doing that for a reason. It's just an easier way to sort things out. Again, grabbing the arrow seems to be the the worst feat there. So we're gonna grab that little if you accidentally put two two of them on the same one, so you can go like this and go to UV and go to control right click to shell and that'll select that entire shell right there. Should anyway. You can also go to face and highlight the faces and then go to UV. This is all holding control. And then you can switch back and forth between shell, UV, and it's a very quick and easy way to highlight things within the UV window and then move them around. So. All right, what's left over is all the hallways. 
in the floors. Okay, so well, what would be an easy way to get rid of uh, all floors within the equation? Well, if I did this, if I highlighted all faces, and then go into my front view, hold control, I now have all the faces that make up the floors. Okay. And I can base this upon a, a, a planar map. If I go into the square box, I can hit camera and then hit project. Okay, so it looks like that. And then my UV window looks like this. Okay, again, let's try that out. Uh, again, I highlight faces. Faces here, if I wanted. Then I can go into this window, hold control, deselect that. That should leave me with all the ceilings. So it's those little selection tricks right there. I'm not doing anything but just kind of thinking how I can get this done very quickly. And that's maybe how uh, you should approach it. How, sh how would I be able to take and highlight everything at once very quickly. All right. Um, another thing is all the hallways are missing off this this time because these are not at the same level. So are the hallway uh, ceilings going to be the same as the other ones? Well, right now, I'm not really worried too much about that. I want to just get all ceilings. like that and that should leave me with all the hallways yep just like that all right and I'll probably just do this and that'll break them all up All right, now that I got all my UVs all created and they're all over the place, let's go into the next video where we start laying them back onto this square.